Customs Area Controller in charge of Tinkan Island Port, Dera Inandi, has once again demonstrated quality of good leadership on a walking visit to Maritime Reporters Association of Nigeria, Maran in Lagos. Speaking at the exclusive engagement with Maritime Journalist Series of Ideas, opinions and observations were lighted, which aimed at boosting the Nigeria economy along Apapa and Tinkan Island Corridor. Interagency collaborations, trade facilitation, security, and smuggling, to mention but a few. In the same vein, time release study were not left out of the discussion why seamless port operation and time frame for cargo clearance to enhance generating revenue for government became high point of the interactive section. However, Comptroller Dara Enandi also seizes the privilege to showcase Tinkan Island port achievement from January to middle of the year 2024. Permit me to read out our half-year report and our performance at Nigerian Customs Service Tinkan Island Port Command. This is Nigerian Customs Service Tinkan Island Port Command 2024 half-year report being presented today, the 12th of July, 2024, at the Maran Secretariat. Tinkan Island Command operations for the first half, January to June 31st, fiscal year 2024, significantly aligned with the statutory functions of the service in the areas of revenue generation, trade facilitation, enforcement slash anti-smuggling activities. The command's operations were performed in consciousness of the theme of the 2024 International Customs Day, which is customs engaging traditional and new partners with purpose. I am glad to announce that Maritime Reporters Association of Nigeria, Maran, has been our traditional partners in Nigerian Customs Service. And for those that just joined Maran, we also welcome you because you are now our new partners with purpose. We are engaging with you with focus on customs administrations providing an enabling environment for stakeholders that facilitates and supports business and people to recover from the negative effects of the floating exchange rate, collaboration with relevant stakeholders to the supply chain, and the use of relevant technology for effective service delivery. Towards this end, the command further enhanced the existing operational processes to conform to the malady that exists in our supply chain. We have perfected the use of the Nigerian Customs Service NICE software. We have also introduced the Eight Forces non-standard VIM valuation to ease clearance of vehicles from our ports. Of course, we are all familiar with the pre-arrival assessment report part but besides these traditional tools that you are already used to, we have also improved on our manifest. We have introduced advanced manifest and selectivity engine by automating our transire. Let me admit that it is still work in progress as we intend to continue to improve on it. We have improved our risk management efficiency system and we have upped our game in the collection of our key performance indi indicator, which is revenue generation. With these measures, we hope to improve and continue with our service delivery to our steam stakeholders, who earlier this year, we declared Tinkham Port as the year of stakeholders. Let me use the opportunity to thank those stakeholders because the tremendous support we've received from them is overwhelming. However, we are also conscious of the fact that 
it is not everybody that we wish to conform with regulations. It is indeed in human nature. And for those that are not conforming, we will continue to do our best to deploy knowledge, capacity building to educate them to conform. For those that will refuse to conform, we will apply the relevant sections of the law to bring them to book. Having said this, permit me to give account of some of the key performance indicators of the command, one of which is revenue generation. For the period January to June 31st, 2024, Tinkan Island Port Command achieved a revenue collection of 575 billion, 505 million, 612,804 Naira 59 Kobo. Let me put it in a short form. Tinkan Island Port Command for the period January to June collected 575 billion, 505 million, 606,804 Naira 59 Kobo. As at this morning, July 12, our revenue stands at 627 billion, 730 million, 504 naira, 631 naira, 59 kobo. Above all, Comptroller Dera Enandi also synergizes with Maran members to partake in the ongoing efforts to ensure time release study came to reality. In Lagos, Prince McDonald reporting for News Buster TV.